until you receive the, the power of the Holy Ghost. And I heard the Bible say, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost have come upon you and because of the Holy Ghost I got power over impossibilities I got power over distress power over heartache power over the storm power over the rain power over sickness Why don't you tell somebody God has canceled your impossibility. I don't care what you've been through. God has come. Jesus said, the thief cometh but to steal, kill and destroy. But I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Why die when you can live? Why be sorrowful? When you can have joy, my God, weeping may endure for a night, but because I'm overshadowed, joy is coming in the morning, joy like a river, joy in my soul, joy in my heart, God, God, God has come to put a power in your powerless situation. You might be broke, but I hear it in the Holy Ghost. Says power over your debt, power over your foreclosure, power over sickness in your body. God, he's able to bring you out. He's able to bring you over. There's power over your impossibility. Come on and give God the glory. Oh, you ain't praising him like your possibilities are endless. Tell somebody, my possibilities are endless. I was broke, but my impossibilities, my possibilities are endless. I know no defeat. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to quit. I'm not throwing in the towel. But I'm getting up because I've been overshadowed. I've been enveloped by the Holy Ghost. And what seems impossible is now possible. What seems powerless now has power because I am God's child. I've been chosen. I've been qualified. I've been anointed. The Bible says, as the deer panted after the water, so does my soul long after thee, O God. I want more so I can keep telling the devil I'm a conqueror. I'm a winner. I'm going to make it. Shout glory. Shout glory. Glory. Shout glory. Slayer, my God, it's time to understand that you got power over your impossibilities. I want you to lift your right hand up, the right hand as a sign of authority. Get it in your hand while your hand is up. I want you to imagine that there's a sword 
and an axe in your hand, there's some giants of impossibility that stand in your way. But I want you, when I count to three, to begin to cut at the tree of impossibility. Keep on cutting, keep on cutting. And when you feel that it's falling down, I want you to shout because God has freed you from impossibilities. One, two, three. Just start cutting. Call it out and cut it down. Call it out and cut it down. Call it out and cut it down. It's over and you got the victory. Oh yeah, shout for it. Oh, come on, give God the glory. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. You got power, power, power over depression. The giant is coming down. The giant of fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. The giant of depression. The giant of low self-esteem. The giant of peer pressure. The giant of financial decay is coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. Because the power belongs to me. But he was wounded for my transgressions. Bruised for my iniquity. And I will look unto the hills from which cometh my help. For my help, my help come from the Lord. Give him glory. Woo. Oh, you ought to praise him because your impossibilities have been diminished. Did you hear what I said? I said your impossibilities have been diminished. Jesus revoked it. He annulled it. He demolished it. He annihilated your impossibility. So tell the devil, not tell the devil, not my job. Tell not my money. Tell the devil, not my child. Tell the devil, not my church. Because I got the power to turn this thing around. Come on, give God the glory. Oh, I need you to praise him for possibility. I need you to praise God. Tell somebody else. Tell somebody it is possible. It is possible. Come on, somebody praise God because it is possible. Oh, you are the praise. I need you to praise them for possibilities. <laughs> 